we are doing good. In today's class, we are going to see an interesting poem. Are you ready? But before that, I am going to show you some questions. Do you like fish? Yes, we like fish. Apart from fish, there are many creatures in the sea. I am going to list out them. Listen carefully, students. Crabs, starfish, jellyfish, octopus, sea ass, etc. I am going to repeat again. Crabs, starfish, jellyfish, octopus, sea ass, etc. Now we are going to see starfish in this poem. This is starfish. See, it looks like a star. And the title of the poem is I found a tiny starfish. What is the title of the poem? I found a tiny starfish. And it was written by Dave and Dots. It was written by Dave and Dots. Now we are going to see the spelling of the title. Listen carefully students. I found F-O-U-N-D found a tiny T-I-N-Y tiny starfish S-T-A-R-F-I-S-H starfish What is the title of our poem? I found a Tiny starfish. What is the title of the book? I found a tiny starfish. And this poem is written by yes, Dave and Dots. Dave and Dots. D A Y L E. Dave and E N N. Dots. D O D D. Yes. Dots. D and dots. What is the title of the poem? Yes. I found a tiny starfish. And it was written by Dave and dots. Okay, students. Now we are going to read the poem. Are you ready? Okay. I found a tiny starfish in a tiny pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish and I put it in my hand. And itty bitty star. No bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. I thought that I would take him from the tidepool by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. Okay students, I am going to repeat the poem. Listen carefully students. I found a tiny starfish in a Typhoon by the sun. I found a tiny starfish and I put it in my hand. An itty bitty starfish, no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging 
poet says the starfish is red. It is it, the starfish is yes, the starfish is red and it is it is a what? It is in golden. It, the color of the starfish is golden. It's a red and golden starfish. How the starfish is? The starfish is red and it looks golden in color. Okay, students. Now we are going to see the last line. Belonging to no one. Belonging to no one. B E L O N G I N G. Belonging to T O two. No. Y O no. One. O N E. One. Belonging to no one. Belonging means something, a thing or person owned by someone. And the author say the starfish is belonging to no one. Yeah, the starfish is belonging to no one. Now we are going to see the third stanza. I thought that I would take him. I thought. T H O U G H T. Thought that. T H A T. That I would. W O U L D. Would take. T A K E. Take him. H I him. I thought that I would take him. The poet say, says he thought he would take the starfish. Him refers to the starfish. Okay, students, see the next line. From the typhoon by the sea. From F R O M. From B T H E D. Typhoon. T I D E. Typhoon. P O O L Pool by B Y by D T H E D C H E A C. See the other saying. I thought to take the starfish from where? Where is the starfish? The starfish in the tide pool. So he thought he took the starfish from the sea water. Okay, from the tide pool. Tide pool is in an area. Which is covered by sea water and rocks. Okay. See the next line. And bring him home to give you. And A N D N. Bring B R I N G. Bring him H I M. Him home H O M E. Home to T O two. Give G I V E. Give you Y O U. And bring him home to give you. See, the author is thinking to took the starfish from the tide pool and he want to present the starfish to someone. Okay. See the next line. A A. Lovely. L O V I N G love when gift G I F T gift from F R O M from me young E me see the author wants to take the starfish from the tide pool and he want to give the starfish okay students now we are going to see the poem once again. Listen carefully, students. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sun. I found a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. An itty bitty starfish, no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish. Belonging to no one. I thought that I would take him from the tiny pool by the sea and bring him home to give you 
loving gift for from me. Okay, students. What is the title of the poem? I found a tiny starfish. I found F O U N D. Found a tiny T I N Y tiny starfish. Yes. F I S H Starfish. What is the title of the poem? I found a tiny starfish. It was written by Dave and Dots. It was written by Dave and Dots. What is the spelling of Dave? D A Y L E. Dave and A N N. Dots. D O D D S. Dots. Who is the author of the poem? Dave and Dots. Now we are going to see the articles. See the first word. Tiny. Is the first word? Tiny. T I N Y. Tiny. What is the spelling? T I N Y. Tiny. Tiny means very small. V E R Y. Very small. S M A L L. Small. Tiny means very small. Tiny means very small. Once again, we are going to see the word tiny. Listen carefully, students. T I N Y. Tiny. And the meaning of the word tiny is very small. V E R Y. Very small. S M A L L. Small. Now we are going to see this next word. Typhoon. What is the word? Typhoon. T I D E. Typhoon. P O O L. Pool, typhoon. And the meaning of the word is pool areas on rocks by the oceans that are filled with seawater. Listen carefully and look to repeat again. Pool areas on rocks by the oceans that are filled with Sea water. Now we are going to read the spellings. Pool. P O O L. Pool. Areas. A R E A. Yes. Areas. On. O A on. Rocks. R O C A. Yes. Rocks. By. B Y. By. P P H P D Oceans O C E A N S Oceans That P H A T That A R A R E R Fill Y I L L E D Fill With W I T H with sea water S E A W A T E R sea water. What is the meaning of the word typhoon? Is pool areas on rocks by the oceans that are filled with sea water. Good. Now we are going to see the third word. See, the word is dry. What is the word? Dry. D R Y. Dry. Listen carefully, children. What is the word? Dry. Now I'm going to say the spelling. D R Y. Dry. What is the meaning of the word dry? Not wet. What is the meaning of the word dry? Not wet. N O T. Not. Wait. 
W E T wet not wet what is the meaning of the word dry not wet now we are going to see the fourth word itty bitty itty bitty i t t y itty i t t y itty bitty b i t t y bitty and the meaning of the word itty bitty is tiny t i n y tiny what is the meaning of the word itty bitty tiny good and the next word is head h e y l d head h e y l d head head is a past tense of old head is a past tense of old now we are going to see the rhyming words see the first word sand sand and the rhyming word is hand sand and hand yes a n d sand and hand h e and hand these two are timing words okay see the next timing words see me see me yes e a c and me y e m e me now we are going to see the third word dry 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 d r y dry and dry is d i e dry okay students now we are going to see the fourth word give live give and live g i v e give live y e l i v e live okay students for today, for today's assignment write the b words synonyms antonyms in your class book take a fresh page and write b words synonyms antonyms okay students hope you all understood the poem uh, see you in the next class thank you